Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today I have a 10 problem test on basic math skills. You should take this test and grade yourself. I would have, make sure you have paper and pencil out in front of you. You wanna pause the video, do the problem, write down your answer, unpause the video and watch how I solve it. Keep track of how many you get correct. If you get 10 out of 10, your basic skills are looking good. If you get less than 10 out of 10, then you might have to go all the way back and start reviewing in basic skills. I have a free class online called Math Test Success. There's a playlist on my channel you could get to, work your way from the beginning to the end, but this is just a practice test for the ASVAB military entrance exam or any standardized math exam, whether it's union entry, um, contractor's license, and these are just basic skills. So with that said, pause the video, give this one a try, unpause it, and watch how I do it. Okay, hopefully you gave this a try. A soldier has a rope that is 12 feet long and they cut off that is three and a quarter feet long. I notice my units are the same. How much rope is left? So what I am saying is 12 feet minus three and a quarter feet. Well, this is 12 feet zero inches or 12 in a portion. I have to borrow a whole foot from this and make this 11 feet and four fourths, right? Four fourths is the equivalent of one. That one plus 11 makes 12. Four quarters minus one quarter is three quarters. 11 minus three is eight. Correct answer, eight and three quarters. Answer B right there. If you got it right, put a little smiley face on there. If you got it wrong, keep track of it for your score out of 10 at the end. Let's move on to problem number two. Again, pause the video, do the problem, unpause, and then see if you did it correctly. Simplify the expression. So this is not an equation. It is not equal to anything. I cannot solve it. I could just combine similar terms. My first order of operations is parentheses, PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So what I'm going to do first is distribute this four through the quantity to get 4x plus 4 times 3 minus 2x. Combine similar terms, 4x minus 2x is positive 2x plus 12. These are dissimilar terms, so I can't do anything with them. That's as far as I could go in my simplification. Correct answer, answer A. Okay, moving right along. Number three, again, pause the video, try the problem, unpause, see how you did. Let's keep track of these 10 problems and see where you are on basic math skills. From there, you'll realize whether or not how far back you have to review. A car travels 240 miles on eight gallons of gas. So 240 miles on eight gallons of gas. How many miles can it travel on 12 gallons at the same rate? So we could do this a few different ways. I could do 24 divided by eight is three, remembering that zero to get 30 miles per gallon. And then I'm gonna go times 12 gallons my gallons will cancel and I have to do 30 times 12. All these standardized math exams are no calculator, so there's always got to be a trick. I can multiply this out with long multiplication or I could kind of use the trick 30 times 10 is 300. 30 times two is 60 for a total of 360 miles. Correct answer, answer B right there. Get that one right. Okay, moving on to number four. Pause the video, give it a try. Unpause the video, watch how I do it. 15%, I think of this as an arrow shooting the decimal over one, two places. What is 15% or 0.15 of 200 of means to multiply, so 200 times 0.15. Again, I can multiply all that out, or I could just use this trick. 
10% of 200 is 20. 5% of 200, well, 5% is half of 10%. So it has to be half of that. So 15% is a total of 30. Correct answer, answer D right there. Okay, number five. Pause the video, give it a try, keep track of your score out of 10. This one is different than the first one. The first one is an expression. There was no equal sign. This is an equation. There is an equal sign, and I need to solve for y, saying what is the value of y? You can kind of plug in values off your answers and see which ones work, or you could solve. Either way is going to work. The way I solve this is I have to isolate my variable y. I'm going to add 7 to both sides. Negative 7 and 7 cancel. I still have that 3y over here. 14 and 7 is 21. Isolating y, divide both sides by 3. These cancel. y is equal to 21 over 3, which is equal to 7. So correct answer, answer D right there. Again, mark it if you got it right or wrong. If you're not getting these right, that's okay. I wouldn't worry about it. All that means is you got to study some more before you take that standardized math exam. The more you practice, the better you get. A lot of people miss a lot of this math for whatever reason, move in, change in schools. And the thing about it is you really got to go back to those early steps to get caught up to move on. So I have that book, uh, Math Test Success, as I have algebra. I'll put a link in the description. And then I got 25 corresponding videos that go along with it. Um, but right now, we're just kind of seeing where we are with this 10-problem test. Again, pause the video, give this one a try, unpause, see how you do. A shirt on sale for 20% off the original price of $40. Take that 20%, again, an arrow shooting it over two places, the equivalent of 0 0.2. What is the sale price? That's actually the most important part of the problem, to identify what you are asked for. I'm not looking for how much it was off. I'm looking for the new price, the sale price. 0.2 times 40 is 8, right? 2 times 4 is 8, or 0.2 times 4 is 0.8, and then add the zero, add that zero on there to get 8. It is $8 off. That's usually going to be one of your answers. It is an incorrect answer because it's asking for the sale price. 40 minus the 8 gives you a sale price of 32. Correct answer, answer A. Moving right along, keeping track of our scores here. What is, again, pause it, give it a try. What is the product of this and this? Product means to multiply. This one I'm actually going to write out so I don't make any mistakes on it. 0.04 times 0.02. 2 times 4 is 8, and then I have zeros all along. Then i got to count out 1, 2, 3, 4. So my decimal place is over 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is point zero, 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 0.0008. Correct answer, answer D right there. A little distracting with the D period, point zero zero 0.008. There's my correct answer right there. Okay, moving on to number eight right here. Again, pause the video. Unpause, watch how I do it. I have three quarters divided by one half. So that's how I convert that sentence into an expression. Dividing fractions, it's kind of a hard one to remember. Dividing fractions, same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So I keep that three quarters there. I change that divide, division sign to multiplication. When I do that, I flip this over to give me 2 over 1. I can multiply across the top, across the bottom now, or I could reduce first. Either way will work. Uh, 3 times 2 is 6. 6 over 4 is my answer. It is not reduced. I reduce it. 2 go in here 3 times, into here twice to get 3 halves. I look over at my answers. It's not there. So I have to convert this to a mixed number. 2 goes into 3, 
one time with one left over. So three halves and one and a half are the same. Correct answer, answer A. That's a tricky one. Fractions are tricky. Um, the other way I could have done that is I could have said, well, two goes into here once, two goes into here twice, giving me three over two. Three over two is the same as one and a half. All right, problem number eight, keeping track of that. Hopefully you're getting eight out of eight so far. We'll move on to number nine. Pause it, give it a try. Unpause, watch how I do it. A rectangle has a length of 10 inches. I gotta draw that picture out. So it has a length of 10 inches and a width of five inches. What is the perimeter? Well, you naturally wanna multiply those together to get 50. That's not the correct answer. It's not asking you for area. This is the most important part of the problem. What is the perimeter? Which means how long around the outside? If that's 10, that's 10. If that's five, that's five. 10 plus five is 15. 15 plus 15 is 30. Correct answer, 30 inches right there. All right, if you're still here, congratulations, you're doing the work, checking it out. Uh, pause the video, give it a try, and then we'll add up our score here. Add three quarters. It's not worded very well, but we're adding three quarters and one eighth. So add three quarters and one eighth. Pen's not working too well there. So I have three quarters plus one eighth. The way I add fractions is I have to have a common denominator. In this case, the common denominator is going to be eight. I already have the eight there. I got to get this to an eight. So I'm going to multiply my first term by a factor of one, doesn't change the value, two over two. Multiplying by one, doesn't change the value. Two times three is six. Two times four is eight. So this thing has become six eighths. This is the same one eighth. Once I have that common denominator, I add across the top to get seven. Keep the bottom, seven eighths. Correct answer, answer C right there. With that said, give yourself a score out of 10. If you got 10 out of 10, your basic skills are solid. That's good. This is just an idea to get, get an idea how your basic skills are. If you didn't get 10 out of 10, that means you got to go back and do some review, a lot more practice tests, kind of work your way through. So I'm hoping this is a good basic math, standardized math exam to kind of test your levels. Thank you for watching. New channel, please subscribe. I appreciate all your support that I've been given, all your comments. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. And thank you.